Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Infinity Wars with me, Brainboy Tomato, where we last left off. We were, con you were continuing on Rift Runs, and now I feel every urge to continue the Rift Run, because it's probably a good idea to just finish this, as opposed to going on to Ladder. Either ranked or just com or uncompetitive. And we start off with a wealthy merchant. Which allows me to play absolutely nothing worthwhile. And I will take this, just because in case of flying. We will get the converted prototype just for the gigantic creature. And then we will promptly not use said gigantic creature because it will most likely be blasted into infinity for too long. Are you serious? I think this person be serious. We'll put you in the assault zone. And then we'll play the artifact. Heatwave! You son of a... Well, that's incredibly annoying. And I would have rather that not happened. Um, we're probably gonna death ray once they appear. Lacking anything better to play, we're just gonna wait. Oh great, flying demon. Or demon of fear with flying. Well, we're gonna make sure this untouchable card gets played, and put you in the assault zone. Yeah, kinda figured. And he gets hurt, which is amazing. And I see your Rita. And I laugh. I'm gonna go gut this one, kill you off. Have you go flying about the place of Spec Ops, and we're not gonna do Infectious Transfusion just yet, because there's no reason otherwise. Sweet. Alright, so Infected Prototype gets played, then we're gonna Support Drone it. And then I'm going to power- oh. Cancel. I can't target you because of Untouchable, can't I? <sighs> of course this game has screwed me over. Well, I want to get this done quick, so I'm going to power you up and just have you start beating on things. In response to this, I actually want to play more car. I want to play more cards. Actually, we'll put you in the defense zone, and we're going to take you. Hopefully you'll let us. If not, some things are going to be very disappointing soon. Sweet, we get Rita's Shadow Priestess. Just as planned. So things are looking up, I say. <laughs> I don't have any flying, though. That's not a massive issue. Considering my, the entire point of this is to now start dealing as much damage as possible, and this will provide some constant sources of DPS towards our enemies to make sure they can't hurt, to make sure that they can't just stack up a humongous number. So you're getting placed in the field before everything else, and we're just going to make you indestructible because why not? Then we're going to activate this, and we're going to grant flying to you. Oh, sacrifice. And then we're going to put flying on you, because I want you to not be able to be stopped. Sweet. Demon, you can go away. I don't really care, but you're dead anyway. How did you die? Was that an entire group of demons as a card? Alright, I won't question it. On to the next run. As is natural, we're fighting the descendants of the dragons, so I'm expecting lots of morale damage, which we have Feast of the Dead, so I, quite frankly, do not care. And with no direct removal, or, I'm sorry, very little direct removal, 
I'll be admitted to play that bastard of a card right off the bat. And so my response is that... I will take the Meditating Monk, because the Meditating Monk will just become really beefy if these people don't try to kill me. In the meantime, we'll get out the Hound. Ah, you have one as well. That's annoying. I don't approve. Now they have Flyers, but they don't have Xi who honors the dead, so I'm gonna quite fr I'm going to probably ignore it. Instead, Battlefield Scavenger and the Junkyard. But you do have the Sage of Strength, which now ticks me off, because now I'm going to have to just spend my time trying to beat through this. And I'm going to extend it up on you. Why? Extended operation makes perfect sense in this case. And then I could call up a Junkyard, but I'm going to undo that action, because there's no reason to use this anymore. So I'm just going to draw another card, because who knows what I'm going to get. So I see your Sage of Strength, and I laugh. So I'm going to go murder this. I'm going to have this guy take the fall for this one attack. Um, What, what should I play here? Scouting mission? I would deal a constant source of damage, but I need blockers. And I need them now. So we're gonna get out this guy. No undo, that's a horrible blocker. This blocker is better by far. And with two mana, I can't do anything. And you make everything take only one. That's, that's annoying. A later Immortal Sufferer might actually be useful for the sheer number of blockers I'm going to need. Cannon fire might be equally useful if anything could die from it at this point. So you're gonna take the first fall, you're gonna block the second. Um my health is dying. So two target characters on the battlefield. Considering you can't use your fancy ability, I'm going to just hit you twice. So you're gonna die, I'm gonna be happy as that, that'll be the best result I could possibly hope for. You're gonna keep gaining strength. And I'm going to play a later Immortal Sufferer. Why? Because that would make things so much easier for me. Don't tell me you gain you gain power as a result. That is complete utter BS, and I will agree with you when I say that. So you're getting played right off the bat because we kind of need those kinds of cards in the field. You're gonna activate. And we're gonna start bouncing back creatures. Most notably, you. Scout mission will be useful because we are going to need to start attacking them to get past their defenses, and we're gonna have the defense chump block squad go. You're just going to keep out healing the poison I dealt to you, aren't you? Blockers, go! The point of this is to chump block the heck out of them. Um, let's see here. I'm not going to take a huge enough morale loss just yet. So... we shall do these two? Yes. Yes we shall. Okay. Trump block squad is over and now that's going to be a nuisance. But we're starting to get damage in on them. So unending drone gets played. You can't do enough damage, which is annoying. Put a chump block in front of you, so I'd like the converted prototype to survive. You will join the aerial assault. <sighs> and for you, I think it's time that you move out of meditation, I mean extended operation, and just go murder. Considering there's very few things that can actually stop you in this case. And we shall also resurrect. 
pull out the final creature in this whole mess. And since several things are going to die, hmm, you should live. Should be the operative term. I said should, but you know what I you know what I mean. It's it's something completely different. So you take the hit, you don't die, we lose morale. We have the death ray, TM. How many cars do I have in the graveyard? Enough, but I, I'll wait. Okay. Four. Four damage. He's gaining one health point every casting of that. Uh, honestly. Bye bye, Leto's discovery. Hello, Wolf. And I want to just kill something right off the bat. Because you're not gonna die. I'm just gonna kill you. And turn. Should have saved it, but I don't care anymore. So, chump block are us. Activate, we're gonna need more chump blockers. Does this only work on... Nope, it works on everything. And I honestly should test it to see if they've ever bothered to fix this. They most likely have not. Activate. Since we already have a junkyard, we're going to shuffle a junkyard. And we're going to get spec up. And... We... I'm going to set it up this way. You might die. I'll admit that. You might die. Messenger goes in front. You might die from this. Actually, you will die from it, even though you would have gained benefit either way. But it was a good try. I didn't reckon, I didn't see the... Well, I couldn't have possibly seen the Vigilance card. Um, chump blockers are us. This is no longer necessary on the front lines. You will join them. You will join them. And to prevent any unseemly morale victories, we shall activate everything in that order. Is it two more out or three? I don't think I'll be able to check. Of course, I'm not going to be able to check. I think it's still three morale. Then again, I'm not too keen on the whole counting thing right now. Anyway, return to main menu. Let's see how long this goes on for. I think it's until ten think it's until 10. I could be wrong. In fact, there's a distinct non-zero possibility, non-zero percent chance, that I am probably wrong. Of course, we're getting any air turret before it's actually useful. Uh, let's not, because they have the possibility of vigilance. We could get a junkyard. No. We're gonna get you out because you're just gonna chump block everything. Eh, you're not gonna block that. But we're gonna just death ray it because it's most likely the best choice. Now, in order to prevent an unseemly death ray from not working, because they just pulled out two of them, and I would have no clue what that would actually be. I see your doubt, Sage of Strength. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna poison you now. I don't ha think I have a means of direct damage, though. Which is sad. But I don't care. Battlefield Scavenger will go here? And yes, he's not gonna get anything else. Has to be on the battlefield, which is the bane of my existence. Okay, 
punch you. Punch. Yeah, I can't do that. <sighs> I want to hit one other target. Alright. I just want to hit one other target. Actually, I should play you because you'll get more buffs from that. And you have 12 out of 6 because I didn't pay any attention whatsoever to what my opponent was doing. And you played the Resolute General, which is going to tick me off to no end because now you're not going to die. Even though you have every right to have done so. Okay, so we're playing the Splitter Robot just so we can tank some damage. You are definitely not getting played. You, however, are going to be played. Why? He's probably going to play the Dowd Sage of Strength, which will buff you, and then we're going to kill you. You's going to die! And another Resolute General. That's annoying. So if you don't mind me, I'm just going to start killing these off before they become an issue. No, because you die, but you'll take two with them. You will just start attacking. Um, I am so sad that I did not pick up a bounty hunter. Because I now realize the value of the bounty hunter. We're going to pull out a spec ops. Eh, can't do enough damage to make it worthwhile. So we're going to start trying to deal damage to the face. In the meantime, we're going to just start drawing cards. Alright, begin the lengthy process of trying to whittle down his health. In the meantime, convert a prototype you because you are the most useful and we're going to pull out the junkyard. Why the junkyard? Because the junkyard is completely necessary. Well, no, it's just to round out point values. Plus, who knows, we could use the junkyard for something else at some point. In the far off future of the 41st millennium. That doesn't kill you though, which is annoying. So we're going to send the converted prototype against you. I don't think you're defending. And then one of the chump blockers right behind you. Now, we can't kill you off in one turn. However, I'm going to play this, which will make all my future plays much easier to make. Secluded Constructor. Um, I'm really just wasting potential at this point. Okay, you get first go, meaning you'll attack first. And then hopefully I can kill you. Hopefully. And we'll pull out the defense array. Because that's never been a bad idea. Yep. So you died. You is dead. And we're now going to start punching through all these. Well, not gaining any health, but gaining loads of damage. Um. Uh, infectious transfusion. It could be good in theory. In practice, however, infectious transfusion is just going to kill this off. Eventually... And there's no reason to get the damage trade off just yet, because I don't know what else they're going to try and summon on me. Do I still have a Battlefield Scavenger? No. Um, now is the time to play all my card draw. Ooh, in effect. We get our first ending drone. Battlefield? No. Cancel. Actually, wait. We're gonna infest. Word of command could have other means, but we don't care. Unending drone. Activate. It's not yet prudent. We're not gonna get the maximum value out of that just yet. However, with the current setup, we can set up a lot of damage this turn. So we're gonna do that. So everything takes a load of damage. Pull out you. And now's the time to laugh. 
Y. Activate. Wait, do we have a second? Yes, we do. Sack you into you, which gives you more power. Okay, I was thinking that was the junkyard, which actually means there's every reason to put this on, because now we're just going to keep buffing you every turn. We're going to make you invincible. It deals so much damage that they have to keep blocking you. Although I think we win this turn. Not mistaken, we did 47 damage, 39. Never mind. We have a later immortal sufferer. Suffering Succotash. Sack you into you. You have ludicrous damage. Summon you. Why the heck did you spaz out? You'll go in front. Now let's make you invincible just for funsies. And that was a healthy 91 damage, and that is game. Let's see, when does this end? If it ends just whenever, I'm going to be disappointed. But yeah, that was 10 arena runs. Defeat 30 pre-made AI opponents. A platinum AI medal. Congratulations. Okay, I'll claim the reward. Got the Alpha Demon. Ten wins, and we still have more runs to go through. Well, we'll do one more, and that will be it then. Because I just want to get this out of the way, so I can go back to Ladder. And since we have this combo right off the bat, we're just going to kill you. Because I don't want to deal with you, if you understand me. Going to pull out the unending drone. Not many openers, really. No extended operation just yet. Secluded constructor. We're just going to pull out double secluded constructors because I really don't have anything to play. I will in one turn. But for now, we're going to kill you. And I laugh at how powerful this is, because this is going to die. And then you're going to smack yourself and die. Um, hmm. I could extend it off you. Considering you have nothing in your assault zone, I think that's a worthwhile endeavor. So, welcome to the defense team, buddy. What, the bloodthirsty dead? That is bloodthirsty dead, right? Yes! We'll end our turn. So Battlefield Scavenger, not my type just yet. We're gonna pull out Mr. Invincible, and we're just gonna make him invincible every turn now. Why? Because I don't need any other- I don't need any other plan. I could just punch through all the defenders without having to care. And we'll summon you because there's no other- there's no reason not to. Thirsty Dead gives you Plug Thirst X. Well, you're not going to die from it, so we might as well try. Of course, I'm going to start losing morale as a result of this, but Dowd's Sage of Strength is already BS enough, because he's just going to use it every turn and be completely annoying. Right. Invincible. I'm Battlefield Scavenger. No death ray just yet. Activate. No, I said here. Good. Very good. Okay. No death ray just yet. However, we are going to infest you, and then we're going to flip-flop these, just so this guy kills this, you kill whatever's left. You, can you stop making them invulnerable? I wish I could kill you, but you're just too annoying, and I can't hit you in the command zone. 
We can get the anti-air array, which is definitely going to scare off the spirit. So you're invincible. We're going to pull out the anti-air array. You'll be here to defend this guy. We'll end our turn. Well, we're soon going to start punching through them. Soon. <laughs> so, in preparation, Varor Magic Cipher. So, pull out another cannon fire. Kill you, kill you. We have the anti air array, right? Yes. So, we're gonna pull out the junkyard, and we're just gonna start emptying my hand. So, you deal 8 damage. I will actually just hit you. Why? No reason not to. It's not gonna stop with me. Right, so you're getting played. You are as well. Scouting mission. You're getting into the field. And scout drone. And they have no other way to win because the AI is terminally stupid. So that's 96 damage in one turn. Four short of lethal if they were full health, but I quite frankly don't care because I'm just won again. And I've been spending time seeing how deep the rabbit hole goes. Really? <sighs> Alright, in the vain hopes that this is this is the twelve wins and done, I'm gonna do just one more. And if it's not, we're abandoning the run. Right, scout... Ugh, Warpath. Scouting drone. Well, hopefully whatever big and stompy thing they pull out, I can go kill off. It's hidden by giants, that'd be amazing. Hidden by... Hidden by giants. Hidden by clouds. Right. So... I can know. And all of this is actually fairly decent in helping me. And you pull out that location card. So I'm hitting them for scratch damage. There's the bounty hunter that I drafted. I've been wondering where you were, you complete sadistic bastard. Hakeem! You know what my response to you, Hakeem, is? Die. And I don't feel like giving anyone an infectious disease just yet. So, we're gonna hold off on that. Okay, so Beast of Burden, you're most likely going to you know you can be played like now. So, I'm going to gamble. No, I'm not gonna gamble. I'm gonna wait and see what position you are in the lineup. Uh, hmm. Hum. Hum. Bounty Hunter. You're first. So, this just means my response should be equally as deadly. As such, Battlefield Parasite. There's not going to be any cannonade, so I'm just going to play the Battlefield Parasite. I'm just gonna play in this order and just see what comes up. Well, that was a wasted card. Why, thank you for giving me a really, really beefy creature. Um, hmm. 
Grotesque man, you're not useful to me. And I can't make you strong enough. I can make you strong enough to take one hit, that's it. And trying to gut these people is completely useless. So we're gonna keep just attacking them. As for things that we... This reach can block flying creatures, don't show again. Oh. Right. Now before I forget, we'll activate and see what card we draw. Hunt. Hang on, so it randomly selects one in the field. If I remember correctly. Then I'm almost dead. Choose a character at the end of the next turn. The chosen character is killed. Other players do not get to see what card has been chosen. So block, block, and die. Block, block, hits me anyway. So I'm going to hit you with cannons and you with cannons, even though that technically ends up being slightly worthless. And I'm going to need to get lots of chump blockers, because I know what's coming up next. So Alita, welcome to the field. So there's support drone. You killed her off. I did not realize you could do that. That's really, really, you're okay. You can now be summoned. I'm now very, very afraid. So chump block one will be a later. Chump block two will be you. I don't care if you die. Support drone. So, okay. Ten. That'd be enough to kill you either way. Undo the play. How much do you give? 3-3 three, three or 2-2? Two, 3-3. Two? Three, three. So you live... 10... 11. You live through this, through this, and then you will survive one hit. I think the best option is this. And start resurrecting things from the grave. Scouting mission to get chump blockers. You and... Uh, you're not unstoppable, right? You just have reach. I could theoretically kill you in 35 turns, but I know that that's stupid, so I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm just gonna wait. Actually, what was the last card I played? Unending Drone? How about we attack with you? Because you're most likely not going to die. Unless hidden by Giants attacks. Okay, I got lucky. The AI was stupid and did not summon hidden by Giants. And we kill you, which makes you stronger. Doesn't kill you makes me stronger. So the two chump blockers live. So we're going to start putting chump blocks in the way, strictly to ensure our survival. Grotesque Brute, you're up next. We're going to infect you with a deadly disease, because why not? And sure, we can play you to the effect of summoning the uh, any air array, but there's nothing in the air to stop us. So we're now about to deal more than half our health and damage. So block, Hellkeeper, uh, air units, even though we're basically gonna win. And sure, we'll play the Unending Drone. Next turn they would have killed me, definitely. There's nothing I really could have done to stop that. And so my response is simply to laugh in their face as they go off. Right. What appears? Absolutely nothing, so the Rift Run's going to be abandoned. So I hope you've all enjoyed watching. This has been Rainbow 20 with Let's Play Infinity Wars, and I am signing off. And from the looks of things, it seems like Rift Runs can 
go for as long as you feel like. And of course, the lower you go, the longer the run. I mean, the lower you go, the more runs have ended there. Makes sense. I would hate to meet the guy who managed to draft and get up to 38 wins, but I guess that's life. So anyway, hope you've all enjoyed watching. This has been Brainwave20, and I'm signing off.